Good morning, I'm on the road. I'm at Krigau Golf Course and I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's um, near Cardiff, it's a few miles inland from the M4. You can't hear the M4 which is going to be wonderful. It's not a long course but it's what I would call a thinking man's golf course. It's um, a little bit narrow in places. So we've got to make the right decisions. We don't want to be hitting driver and chipping out of the trees all day. Although, on this day, a bit of shade will be very, very welcome. First hole is, um, he says, looking at the card, it's 249 yards. So I can hit anything down here between an eight iron and a driver. I wonder what your choice will be and whether you agree with my choices as I go around this wonderful golf course. It looks fantastic. Well, I sailed on a six iron in the end and down the left side of the fairway for reasons which will become apparent for my second shot. Although that is a little bit tight. But you can see the fairway bunker down the right. I wanted nothing to do with that. And the flag on the green is over or near that right hand greenside bunker and I wanted nothing to do with that. So um, I'm pretty happy with my choice. Especially as these greens are small and I want to have full shots into them. I don't want to be hitting half shots and making mistakes. Bunker on the right, flag is on the right, the green slopes heavily left to right. My choice with six iron over the tree with a fade. Yes! <laughs> Here we go. Well, this is pretty tight. I've done some lasering of trees and I've settled on the five wood. I'll tell you one thing, the, uh, the zero in rangefinder is going to get a big workout today. Not just hunting down flags but trees and finding how far I can hit the ball. That was a five wood little bit of a slap. I think it's long enough so I can see the green round the corner but until we walk 200 yards we won't find out. Yeah this is going to earn its keep today. I think I got away with that. Yet another tight hole, so yet another five wood. It's only 335 down the hill and I really don't want to reach those bunkers. This course is 103 years old and you know how I just love old golf courses. This is magnificent, I don't know where to look first. Views are outstanding. And the view from the end of the tee box. Told you it was a five wood. Yes. 
There's a bit more elbow room here, and it's a bit longer, so it's out with the three wood. I hope you're not nervous about topping off the tee because of these ponds. Just going to try and chop up and hit a little fade with a nine. And today I am struggling to keep the club face open when I want it to be open. So we're a long way away. Now one thing I'm doing wrong here is not taking the flag out. What I like to do is take the flag out, have a better look at the putt, but I'm in a little bit of a rush at the moment. I've got a two ball behind me and I need to keep moving. First par three, it's only an eight high and down this hill. Now I thought there was, according to the plan, there's some bunkers in front of the green, but they are gone. Thank goodness, because I didn't hit that very well, and I was uh, most certainly landing short of the green. But I'll take a par, thank you very much. Out with the three wood again, this one's 385. And I'm glad I didn't hit driver on that line. That would not have been very pretty. I'm only taking a five iron here. I know it's downhill to the flag because I can't see the green. And I don't want to get too close to the green. Sometimes trying too hard is going to cost you a bogey. So the front edge of greens are very nice places to be. You see why I chose the 5-iron? There's this gentle slope coming down here to the green. There's a bunker there. So it was the right choice, especially in the summer. No need to try and go for the green to get your par. Yeah, I know I reached across and I didn't hold it. Don't care. The first par 5, and again, it is so tight. It is too tight for my driver. Three wood is plenty really. You know, I can't reach into anyway, so why try? There's a pond down there on the right. I'm not too sure how far this five iron is going to run out, but at least I can hit a decent shot with a five iron. I'm very confident with that. And it only leaves a nine in, but I'm in a hurry again. You can tell by the way I'm aiming. And that is dead and buried. Not a chance from over there. But it wasn't the 5-iron that was the bad shot. 5-iron was perfect. It was just simply aiming left. Because I'm in a hurry. And there's no chance down that hill. It would take somewhat of a magician to get it close from the wrong side of the green. Nine iron to blame. Now I've seen this hole from a previous fairway so I know where I've got to go and it's straight over the top of that tree. You can bail right but it leads to a much longer shot. So sometimes the risk is the smart shot. Bunker on the right, that's the only thing I've got to avoid. Oh Simon, you've done the hard work. The tee shot was the hard work, that was easy. Not much space here, but there's just enough.
<sighs> just having a little break. I've let a group through. As you know, when I've got the camera, I'm the least important person in the world. Little par three next, well bunkered. It's 129 to the flag today, which is a bit long for me nine iron and a bit short for me eight. It's over a bunker, so that would suggest the eight. Wind is right to left, so my choice is going to have to be to chop up the eight iron a bit rather than try and whip over the nine and gain a few yards that way. When you're between clubs there's an easy shot and a hard shot and I think the easy shot is to chop up the eight. The hard shot is to try and turn over the nine and get another four or five yards out of it. But I may change my mind once, once the green's clear. First impressions, this, is, this golf course is everything I could possibly ask for. Tees, fairways, greens, bunkers, the view. I just don't know where to look. It's, it's glorious. I tell you, it's glorious. I'm so glad I didn't rejoin a golf club this year because it allows me to come and do things like this. Well, in the end, I chose the 9-iron and I hit a sling with it so out towards that right-hand bunker and turned it over. And I've done it rather well. In fact, too well. But look at these bunkers. They are beautiful and lethal at the same time. Yeah, I hit that 9-iron far too well. And the putt. It's funny, when I get a putt like this coming back up the hill, I can hear a caddy saying to me, right edge and up, which encourages me to hit it firm enough. And the first time out with the driver. There's definitely enough space for me if I can hug the trees on the left hand side with a little fade. That's not a little fade, in fact it's not even on this hole. I'm back on the par 3. So 190, high fade with a 4 iron. Now one of the things I like about this course is the trees are the hazard. And if the trees are the hazard, then you don't need 3 inch rough to add to that. Your challenge is to get out of the trees, over the trees, under the trees, whatever the shot might be. You don't need the additional challenge of rough. So it's fair. It is a fair golf course, even though it's a difficult golf course. Next par five. Out with the driver again. That's a little better. We're definitely still on the same hole. Six iron punch, nothing more I can do with this. I can move the ball forward a good distance. And I've gone that little bit too far, which is gonna leave me a nine iron punch. I've played holes like this before, zigzagging about the fairway, but we're on the dance floor. We got a chance. It's perfect, no? Driver for a third time because we're up at 373 yards now it's a long hole but you can see on this golf course you cannot bully it into submission it's a thinking man's golf course you've got to play smart and this is the type of golf course I love the idea that every tee shot has to be assessed and it's not the length of the hole that dictates what you take off the tee, it's the width. That's something you've got to understand sometimes. 
is no matter how much you would like to blast driver everywhere, you simply cannot. It'll cost you far, far too many golf balls. You've got to play smart. Narrow hole again, so it's back to the three wood. And it's only 330 yards. In fact, I could have hit a five wood down here. That would most certainly have been enough. I think I can get at the left edge of the green. I could try a punch, but I much prefer hitting a proper golf shot than trying to flight something down. And you're going to get a par, you know. You don't have to try harder than trying to get a par. Short par four down the side of the practice ground and it's going round the corner a bit. So my shot of choice is the five wood with the draw, close the face down a bit, reduce the loft, it's gonna run out. And that was pretty much monstered. 68 in, lazy sand wedge, and this is right down the banner. And when I said right down the banner, I do mean right down the banner. But you're going to have a little shock when I turn the camera around. Now that I've seen the hole, if I was going to play it again, I think I'd play a hybrid out to the right rather than try and hit that draw. I thought there was a load of space, but as you can see, there just isn't the space. I'd have to lay back, but the planting around this green is, is lovely. The final par five, and it's back to the three wood. I've only used the driver three times today. Six iron will get me nice and safe, that's all I need.
Right, that doesn't surprise me to be honest, this late in the round. The trouble with having a big heavy camera in a metal cage to protect it and a big heavy robust tripod is it weighs about five pounds, which doesn't sound a lot until you've got to carry it. Now you might say, well, why don't you stick it in the side pocket of your bag? Well, you try, but then you've got this kind of thing stuck up out the side pocket and over every bump, you've got this weight on the end of, the, of a stick thrashing about. So yeah, I, I do make mistakes towards the end of the round, but the course is, uh, is immaculate. It is wonderful. Fairways, the turf is, is great. The greens are fantastic, as you've seen. Even the holes, even the putts I missed, it's still fantastic. Bunkers are great. The layout is, is wonderful. It's a good thinking golf course. You've, you've got to use your mind. And of course, I've been out here lasering at almost every tree just to make sure I know where I'm going. Still made some mistakes, but yeah. Get out here, come and play it. it this is wonderful. And uh, don't forget to pack your brain. You're gonna need it round here. This is a proper test without being overly long. And that's wonderful, isn't it?